Hey, what it is, peoples? How y'all doing, man? This is getting back in the booth. Now, we're going to take a step back. We're going to go a little bit backwards, all right? We're going to talk a little bit about Madden, again, Madden 10, any Madden series, right? Um, I want to start off by saying that there's really no real strategy in any of the Madden games. No real strategy. The only strategy people really use is what's, what defense can I nano blitz? You know, what defense can I, what kind of zone defense can I pick where uh, there's nobody going to be open no matter what? Or, you know, the type of defense that uh, is a good press coverage and a good blitz at the same time, right? That's defense. Our offense is nothing but money plays, crossing routes, and uh, screens really um, teams that can run the screens really well, or or I've seen people play with the uh, Wildcat offense all the time, or uh, you know the punk ass people that put Michael Vick in, in ahead of uh, McNabb, you know before McNabb got hurt. All right, but anyway, this video I'm not going to be showing a game, a video game. I will be showing real life footage that EA has, right? They have every footage of every game, right? They have sports analysis. They can look at it for themselves. I shouldn't be the one, nobody else should be the one on YouTube telling EA how to better do their job. They should already be doing their job way better than what they're doing right now. Okay, right now I'm going to show you um, what I said before about strategy, right? Um, you know, I'm a Giants fan, so you know I'm going to be up the Giants' ass. Right? So, um, this is uh, Giants Rewind on uh, NFL.com, the, the Giants team section, right? And um, this was the game that they just played and beat up on the Cowboys. Well, they didn't beat them up. It was a good game. You know, both sides could have won that. Either, either team could have won that, but Giants came off with the victory. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, now, the strategy that I'm going to show you, which the Giants used, um, they kept going kind of deep with um, Steve Smith. He's a wide receiver. He's not a super fast guy, but he runs great routes, okay? So they kept kind of going deep with him, right? We're going to start it right there. We're going to stop the video. We're going to move on to something else, all right? Look at this. Ball game with the Giants' first possession. They face a third and 11 at the Dallas 39. <laughs> Okay, you see that? That was at least a 20-yard pass. So that's considered a mid-level, almost deep pass. 20-yard pass. Um, it was 3rd and 11, they went deep. Okay? 3rd and 11, they went deep. Remember that. Because that's what's going to be really important in my video. Okay? Here, let me skip forward to... Uh, a little bit past. Let's see. Go back a little bit. This, I believe, I'll be showing you another video of Steve Smith getting a little deeper in in the coverage. Look. Big play. Uh, Eli is getting good protection. He was moving around just a little bit, but he got protection. Saw Smith. Smith ran a great route. Made a good catch. Right. See, another deep pass that Eli Manning threw. Right. Another deep pass on third down that Eli Manning threw. Alright, let's check this out. Let's go to 7... 7.35. Okay, this is good enough. Look. Hey, Romo, when he's down in the red zone. Alright, so the Giants get the ball back. Now, they don't score in their next possession, but a hundred of things to come because... Oh, okay. Um, now, remember, they've been thrown deep to... Um, to uh, to Steve Smith, Eli Man has been throwing deep to, to Steve Smith. Okay, um, now what what would any defense do if they keep getting beat deep? Right, they would back off on coverage on the wide receivers. Correct, that's what any defense should do if they keep getting beat deep. If they keep on put, putting press coverage and, and getting beat deep. That's just a horrible coach. But look what happens when they start to back off coverage. Cunningham has two catches for a total of 29 yards back-to-back. -back. At that point, are they identifying the fact that, hey, we got some mismatches here that we're going to be able to exploit? Well, yeah, they do because Manningham is so quick. He gets the ball and he makes things happen after he catches the ball. So they can hit him. They hit him a few plays 
Okay, as you can see right there, I don't know if you can see it good or not, but that was not a deep pass at all, right? That was a really short pass. That was, he, he took one step turn, caught the ball, juked the hell out of that Cowboys defender, and ran down the field for another 15 yards, I believe. So, the strategy is what has been implemented so far. Going deep to Smith, going deep to Smith, you back off on coverage, I'm going to um, pass the ball short, to uh, Mario Manningham, okay? Now, let's see what happens at 940. Here we go. You're knocking, you're knocking, you're knocking. At some point, you've got to get the ball in the end zone. So it sets up a third and four. Mind you, third and four, okay? Remember what happened the last time that they played a third and four. They, they, were, uh, they threw the ball deep to Steve Smith, right? But, you know, they keep throwing the ball short to Manningham. Okay, look what happens. But this is a big play here because they don't want to settle for three again. Third and four at the Dallas 22. This is on, back to throw. Lobs one right to the side, left side, and catch it dropped by Smith. And Paul, and Manningham, then he caught it. Okay, they threw a bomb, not a bomb, but like at least a 20-yard, 20 25-yard pass to Manningham, at least 25 yards. And, that you know, that's a mid-level deep pass. Why? Because he's a really quick wide receiver, right? And they decided to play him close because they, 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 the Cowboys were getting gashed, okay, defensively by playing off of him, and Manning would just throw it to him short, right? So that's what you call a strategy. In Madden, there is none of that. Imagine, now you would get that, right? But you would get that if EA decided ever to add real adaptive AI and the fact that you could just move your D-backs back in coverage or forward in coverage or vice versa, whatever you want to call it, right? Madden's AI, right, is obsolete. Is is no need for it anymore. It needs the AI needs to be done way better. They need to add a brand new AI, brand new. You know, 2K AI has been way better than Madden. Still better. You play 2K5, 2K4, right? Even 2K3, the AI is way better than Madden. That's that's preposterous. That's not. That's wrong. You know, now that's EA not putting any kind of money into their product. Right? So, like I said before, they have all of this footage. They could look at it like I could look at it, you know. They could do exactly all that type of stuff. And yet, they do not have any kind of game planning. They, they don't have any kind of coaching um, statistics in the game. They don't have any of that stuff that, would, that makes football a chess match. Right now, Madden is nothing but money plays and defensive glitches. Okay? That's all it is. There's no strategy in Madden. I wait until the day they actually put strategy in Madden. All right? Peace. I'm out. That's all I got to say. Sorry if I made the video a little too long. I'm out. Let's get it.